Hey guys, welcome back to Ganji Plans. Another Sunday video, and this time I'm doing my monthly bedtime book review. This month we're looking at Mama's Belly by Kate Hosford with pictures by Ab Abigail Halpin. Really cute little book. This is one of the ones that I found um, while I was already at the library. I pulled out the um, the catalog on the website on my phone and my daughter was running around the toys in the children's section and I was trying to find a book to check out that was, you know, going to help her sort of understand my pregnancy a little bit. And um, she kept yelling at me to put my phone away, which was like, you know, the, the kind of a, oh gosh, I really should if she's bothered by it, but um, I wanted to find a book for her. So this is what I found under those circumstances. Um, this was pre-pandemic. I think I could probably check this out in February. Um, and since the pandemic started, all of the library branches are closed. Um, and so all due dates are suspended until they reopen. So um, anything that is checked out stays checked out as long as I want it to. I can return it if I want to. And you can also get books from our library, which is awesome. Um, if your local library might still be offering uh, that kind of a service, uh, basically we're able to place a hold online and then pick it up, um, like touchless pickup from your car uh, if you just go to the parking lot. So that's pretty cool. I've gotten a couple books th that way. So check out your local library, great resource. But today, tangent aside, we're going to be looking at Mama's Belly. I'm going to actually show you, I, I actually got a chance to sit down with my daughter and read it with her today. Do you remember what this is called? Mommy Belly. Yeah. By Kate Hosford, pictures by Ab Abigail Halpin. Because it's Mommy and Daddy. Uh-huh. It's a big sister. What does it mean? Mama has a belly rising up like a wave. Inside is my sister waiting to meet me. What does she got? A bubble. Yeah. Hello in there, I say. When are you coming out? I put my ear on Mama's belly and listen for an answer, but all I hear is the beating of Mama's heart. You see? She has a big tummy. Who's inside her tummy? Very big. <laughs> yep. I sing to my sister. Did you see that kick? Says Mama. I think she likes your song. Do you sing to your baby sister? It's beautiful. Does my sister know me already? I ask. Just your voice, says Mama but soon she will know the rest of you as well. What's this one? That's in the future when baby is out of mama's tummy and in her arms. See, she sings to the baby in the tummy and then when baby comes out, she can sing again and baby still hears the same song and knows that it's still you. It's you, big sister. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> is it funny? How about this? Will my sister have freckles, I ask? Not right away, says Papa, but maybe after a few summers by the lake. What are they going to do? Swimming. Swimming. And see, big sister's helping little sister learn how to swim. Mama finds a picture of me one day old. I'm looking right into her eyes. Soon I will look right into my sister's eyes and say, Welcome to the world. I'm here to love you. Are you going to love your baby sister? Yeah. If my sister cries, I will rub her back in tiny circles. When she needs a bath, I will wash her belly until it shines. Will you help take care of your baby sister too? That page. That page. Let's keep reading. Okay, it's time for my nap. When my sister comes, do I have to share my blanket? I ask. 
Mama hugs me. That blanket will always be yours, she says. But let's make another one for your sister. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm making another blanket for, for baby, aren't I? Papa cooks dinner. Mama's belly is making her grumpy. I haven't seen my toes in weeks, she says. I count Mama's toes. How many toes does Mama have? Oh yeah, she should be wearing her slippers, huh? Ten, I say, just like before. Ten toes. I can't crawl into Mama's lap anymore. It's disappeared. Will your lap ever come back, I ask. Mama runs her fingers through my hair. After your sister is born, I will have a lap again. Mama is too tired to play with me. Her back hurts. Can you make me a picture while I rest? She asks. It's drawing. Dave? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she is. She's drawing wheels. I draw Mama a magic energy machine. Papa helps me hang it on the wall. I think it's working already, she says. Let's take a walk by the lake. The sky is dark and the air is cold. The big moon shines over the water. Mama and Papa wrap me in their arms. There's snow going, huh? It smells good, Kate. Mama snuggles with me before bed. Would you like to rest your head on my belly, she asked. Her heart beats like a slow drum. Hang on, we're not quite done. We're not done with this page yet. When my sister comes, will you have enough love for both of us, I ask. More than all the stars in the sky, Mama says. There you go. She rubs my back in tiny circles. I stretch my arms around her belly until I'm hugging Mama and my baby sister at the same time. There's no pictures. No. The end. That's Mom, the end. Mama, read your page. Please do. Please read to me. Agnes is 22 months old right now, going on 23, um, so almost two years old. She's, as you see, very verbal, very talkative, and she's getting so into books lately. So that is the most obvious thing. She's adorable, and I wanted to show you how good she is at reading books. Um, but I think that this book has been somewhat helpful to her throughout the course of the time we've had it the last several months. Um, she... Like, she knows in, to some extent that there's a baby in my tummy. But she also thinks that she has a baby in her tummy, that daddy might have a baby in his tummy. Um, she also often will get confused and think that the baby is in my breasts. Um, so there's a lot of confusion in her head, but she's really going to be an amazing big sister, and I think she's getting excited for it. Um, so I really love that this is a story about a big sister and a little baby sister. Um, we, at the time I checked this out, didn't know whether we were having a girl or a boy. But we are having a girl, and this is about a little baby girl, so that helps too. Um, and just little things that are, are really sweet about it. I like the art style. Um, I think it's really cute. It's nice to see just like casual, low-key, interracial couples. Um, we're the other way around. My husband's Filipino, and I am very Caucasian. Um, unfortunately, our little daughter doesn't sunburn. <laughs> That's a separate tangent. Um, so, I yeah, I just like seeing the, the cute little pictures. And, um, and you can see some of the really pretty artwork. I think the picture I like the best is probably this one. I guess is giving the mommy a hard time for taking off her shoes because that's something that we're trying to work on right now is having her wear shoes. For a change, I don't really have anything negative to say about this book. I think it has a sweet sort of dreamlike quality between like some uh, more poetic terms. Um, you know, the way, the way it starts, mommy's belly has, a mommy has a belly rising up like a wave. Um, but then there's really practical parts, you know, where she's literally just, you know, 
Mommy doesn't have a lap anymore. And it um, addresses a lot of those different issues, you know, insecurity over, will I have to share my special blanket? Well, no, that's okay. It's your special blanket. Um, and just little things like, you know, are you going to, you're going to help when baby comes and, you know, you're going to be an important part of baby's life, helping mommy and all of that. And so the, the bits here where it shows the vines, you know, like here she is in the current moment practicing on her baby doll. And here she's dreaming about the future, playing with her actual sister. So you have these like vines that are a recurring motif. Um, nature is a recurring motif. And I think that's really a nice just art choice. It even comes into like there's a lot of plants and even just like a salad <laughs> inside the house as well as them going on like a walk outside. And this is the sort of behavior I hope that she will learn to emulate. <laughs> She's actually getting really good at some independent play, um, and so I am grateful for that. I uh, am looking forward to her being a big help when her little sister arrives. So that's pretty much all I have to share today. Um, this is a cute little story, and if you are looking for something that's not like a science lesson to teach your little kid um, that there's a new baby coming, this one might be a good, uh, a good option for someone who's around the same, you know, two year age gap as mine. Um, she's able to understand most of the concepts in here, I think, um, with obviously room to grow. Um, but just the idea that she has an important role to play in the growing family and to not be insecure about her place in it um, is basically where I want her, what I want her to take away from all of this. So thank you for joining me for another bedtime book review. I will leave the Amazon link to this book in the comment below or in the description below and leave comments of any books that you think that I should cover in future episodes of Bedtime Book Reviews. See you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you. Have a good week. Bye.